Welcome to Your Infinite Health. Are you getting older? Are you feeling it? How would you like to do that in reverse? We're your host, Dr. Tripp, and Lene. We've run an integrative medicine practice for 13 years. Together, we have 60 years of combined experience helping clients. We've helped tens of thousands achieve success in health and live longer, happier lives. In this show, we'll cover peer-reviewed and evidence-based integrative approaches to creating the health you've always wanted. We also share professional experience we see in the field every day. So if you're ready to feel, look, and live your best life, you're in the right place. Welcome to your Infinite Health Podcast. What's going on, Trip? Hey. So it's it's Mardi Gras uh, season here in New Orleans. How did you enjoy the um, the Mad Hatter parade the other day? Oh, it was great fun. Great fun. We racked up on all kinds of beads. Yeah. And loot. Yeah, and some of the beads racked up on me. <laughs> <laughs> the, those they they'd stop just throwing singular beads. Now you're gonna get hit with like we were getting hit with like bundles of beads like they they never unbundled them they just and then they didn't even take them out of the plastic bags so you're getting rained on with like <laughs> plastic bags worth of Whoa. bundles of beads 10 pounds of beads here they come <laughs> <laughs> you know i looked up and like this whole barrage of beads was headed right towards my face and then because louisiana dental is, is such an integral part of this crew several floats were throwing out toothbrushes but not just toothbrushes they were literally throwing out boxes of like 50 to 100 toothbrushes at a time so if you were lucky you could catch enough toothbrushes to serve your entire neighborhood and and then every the kid every kid on the block will have a great tea thanks to the mad hatter parade <laughs> that's great stuff though. Great stuff. Yeah. interestingly enough though the kids the kids don't they didn't want to go so it was just me and you uh-huh. and so there's more parades this weekend and i asked henry if he wanted to go to the parade and he just he was like nope i'm good seen them one seen them once just seen them all so yep absolutely we've got old men for children and mm. what does that mean about me why that means you are infinitely young <laughs> <laughs> so we have a guest today um but before i get to that oh. I, I i wondered if you knew what kind of bed mermaids mermaids sleep on what what kind of beds do mermaids prefer to sleep on oh dear uh i i don't know dear water beds <laughs> dough 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 <laughs> So, and that kind of leads us into our, our guest today. It was really interesting. His name is Mario Branovich. He is the CEO of New Earth Technologies. He's an entrepreneur, researcher, visionary in the field of health and wellness. For years, he ran a successful international advertising agency and production house. He was always very passionate about health and wellness, about finding natural ways to heal, regenerate, and restore the delicate balance between body, mind, and spirit. This led him to establish a natural pharmaceutical company that successfully helped many people for years. After a while, he became very passionate about water. Realizing its extraordinary significance, he established New Earth Technologies, a company that offers the miracle of analemma water to the world, Mario, thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. So um, you're going to have to tell me how to pronounce the company. It's Analima, Analima. Analima, yeah, Analima, Analima. Analima. It's, it's, it's extraordinary technology. Yeah, uh, uh, the company's name. The company's name is actually New Earth Technologies, but the whole technology is actually uh, called Analima. Analima is a, a power symbol of the sun, so that's oh, where nice. uh, the name actually comes from. Nice. I did not know that. Well, before we start talking about that, tell our listeners a little bit about you, um, how you got to be the CEO. Like, how did this come about for you? What was your personal journey? So I was always very much passionate about health and wellness. I always kind of um, had this intuitive knowing that our bodies are created perfect and that there, there is this extraordinary innate 
ability of our bodies to repair themselves. So uh, I was always very much passionate in finding ways to assist that natural process in a powerful way. Because when we know uh, what to trigger within our bodies, our bodies are going to create miracles within. So this actually led me to opening a pharmaceutical, natural pharmaceutical company, which I ran for years and I really helped thousands and thousands of people. And it was really gratifying process. I really loved doing it every single day. And after um, eight, 10 years of running it, I decided to sell it. I sold it to Walgreens. Oh. And uh, after that, I was kind of thinking if I'm ever going to do anything again, it would really have to be something for the highest good of all, something that helps people, something that helps animals, something that helps plants, something that helps environment. It was a very tall order, but an Alema project actually checked all of the boxes. And to be truly honest, now I feel that I'm serving this water, not the other way around. Because when you witness the magnitude of, of effects that this water has on all of this, which I just mentioned, then you just kind of want to do it justice. So yeah, it, it really is an extraordinary thing. So uh, how, what directed you to water specifically? This is also a very, very interesting uh, topic. So back in the day, 15 years ago, the Dr. A. Clark and, and Dolph Zonting, it actually came together and they picked up a lab, a whole lab with all of the scientists from the famous German scientist, Dr. Pop. So he actually created this very sophisticated technology that can capture biophotons. So every living thing exudes light, these tiny particles of light, and you need very sophisticated technology that can capture and measure them. The more biophotons any living system exudes, more vitality it has. So anyhow, uh, Dr. Larker and, and Dolph Zantinger came together. They really wanted, if I cannot say it better, but they wanted to find the secret to life. Let's call it that way. So they went in all kinds of research, but very soon into their research, they zeroed in water because they saw that when you change the state of the water, biophoton emissions of plants rise beyond dramatically. So their vitality grows exponentially. So then they saw, okay, there is something extraordinary here, which actually led the whole research of 15 years. And then we did uh, double blind placebo control studies on humans. We did various studies on plants. We did studies on soil. Which, which are extraordinary in and of itself. This water really, we realize that any biological system, if ex exposed to this water, is going to react in a very positive way. So are you taking, this is a dumb question, but are you taking like tap water or ocean water and then you're doing Actually, with it? If, if the liquid has H2O molecules, when we treat it, they're actually going to start forming this very special liquid crystalline state. So it doesn't really matter which water you use. But of course, if we're talking about drinking water, we even if you use tap water, it's going to dramatically improve tap water. But we always say if you can purify or take the toxins out and then make the water coherent, that's the best way to go. But usually people always think in terms when they think about water filtration, and that's the thing that is going to do the job. But what they don't understand is that water, our research clearly proved that thousands of times. Water is always going to pick up the most dominant frequency of its environment. So even if you take out the toxin out of the water, the information or the frequency of that toxin is still in the water. And when you drink that water, you are actually inducing that frequency within your system. We are vibrational beings, which also our kind of whole research very much proved. For instance, one of the greatest scientists of all time, Nikola Tesla said that if you want to know the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy frequency and vibration. And our research proved that water is a broadband absorber, receiver and transmitter of energy frequency and vibration, and therefore is at the very heart of life. And that, that, goes, to, that goes to speak to the coherence of, of water. And the, maybe for our, for our listeners, um, you know, the adherence properties, the coherence properties, electromagnetic fields, all of those things, um, have significant impact not only on the water, but subsequently on all of our biological systems. Yes, uh, very much can so. Can you uh, maybe explain simply for our, our, uh, our listeners a little, bit, uh, a little bit more about that? Definitely, definitely. So this is what we found. We realized in our research that water currently on this planet exists in what we call a chaotic state. So what does that mean? H2O molecules 
in water move randomly. They're actually crashing into each other constantly. But since all of this is happening on an atomic level, nobody really understands or even perceives it. This chaos has a profound effect on our biology, even though we're not aware. We found a way to bring harmony back into, into that chaos. When you use our technology, what actually happens is that those same chaotic H2O molecules start to form a very harmonic liquid crystalline structure, or what we call a coherent state. There are these coherent fields which start to appear within water. Water starts to move in harmony with itself. And through this unique process, water actually becomes empowered. I always like to tell this story so that it, I can kind of explain to people in a very easy way that they can picture it. If you take five watt light bulb, it will give you some light. But if you take five watt laser, which is a coherent form of light, you can drill a hole through your table. So if you concentrate the same light, the same power of light, if you concentrate it, you can have extraordinarily different effect. The same thing actually happens with water. And why this all has extraordinary implications. When you look at it, we are 70% water and mass, humans. But we are actually 99% water in molecules. We only have 1% of heavy molecules. All the others, 99% of our molecules are light water molecules. We're actually more water than the ocean, if you can imagine. Okay. This really kind of off the bat tells you there is something extraordinary here that we haven't actually thought about too much. When you look at it, we are basically very clever H2O. <laughs> so why is the original state of water in chaos? Because that this, can't be a natural state, right? That would be a very, very, state. very important question. What we can just do is hypothesize because it's very kind of hard to pinpoint it. But we would say because of all of the environmental toxins, because of the EMF, because all of this, which is Earth is now saturated with all of this. Water is out. We actually tested many waters and you can find water in this original state if you go deep outside of civilization in the jungle. So we found actually water in coherent state. But what's also interesting, when you take it out, which what we did, very soon after you take it out, water molecules go to chaos. So to get the effect, you would actually have to live there and drink it. So but this is this is somewhere where we feel that this water, we always say that, that Mother Earth is the hidden voice of this project because it was necessary in some way or form to bring water back to coherent state so that people can and animals and plants can actually again be exposed to it and get the benefits of what nature intended for us with water. So that coherent state, coherent state of water actually creates a almost a communicative network within the water I would, itself. I would definitely say this is, a, this is a perfect opportunity to jump in the first human study that we did. Since this water is an electromagnetic phenomenon, we were kind of thinking, okay, what's the most electromagnetic part of human biology? It's our brainwaves. Mm -hmm. So we were thinking, okay, this is very measurable. And what we did, we did a gold standard study uh, where we took I uh, genetically identical twins and we put QEEG equipment on them and we monitored their brainwaves. So the doctor administering the water didn't know which one, which water was which, and twins didn't know which one was which. But almost as soon as the twin that took a sip of NLM water, there was an almost instant better connection between the left and the right hemisphere of the brain, an instant harmonizing effect on the brain waves, while the other twin didn't experience anything. Now that was really powerful and irrefutable. And to be honest, we were very surprised very fast effect on our biology. And actually three weeks later, we repeated the experiment, but we gave in a lemon water to the other twin and we saw exactly the, like you copy pasted. I mean, these two individuals are genetically identical. So their response to stimuli is the same. So they, we saw exactly the same phenomenon happening while the first twin now drank regular water. And again, it was nothing. So this was first human study that proved that something biologically remarkable happens when humans, people are drinking the water where, where they're exposed to this water. 
How long did that effect last? This is very interesting. We actually uh, wanted to take it, uh, crank it up a notch, so to speak. So we took one person with severe brainwave, I'm not going to say disease issue, okay? And we actually did a study for, for 60 days with that individual. And all of her brainwaves actually went to normal within 60 days. And how much water was she drinking? We always so say in all of our studies, we will go in all of them. We always say a liter and a half of NLM water per day. Okay. So we don't, we, this, this is how we decided to do studies. And that's why we always direct people. If you want to have the results, this is the quantity of water. I, you, I drink only NLM water. I don't drink any other water. So for me, it's like over two liters a day, most assuredly up to three so liters. Well, that when you started drinking only that water, like personally, what was your personal results? Like what did you start to see change or evolve as a result of, of you consuming only that water? This is very interesting because I was always a person of very high energy. So for me, my perceiving of it was something, I'm going to go into all the details because this is going to be very interesting. So the effects, we're getting thousands and thousands and thousands of letters of people who are having all kinds of experiences with it. Just like we touched upon it, there is this, when you drink the water, there is this inner connection that happens within you. You become aware of yourself, so to speak whatever is happening, happening within you. So even though I never experienced, even though we proved that this water gets your energy much higher, since I'm already a person of very high energy, it didn't happen for me there. People of low energy, they love this water because they really move them much forward. For me, it was a matter of consciousness. It was a matter of, this is also what we proved in, since I'm meditating and, and spirituality is a really important part of my life, we realized in, in, in the brainwave research that we did, there is this delta coherence that actually happens within uh, uh, in the brainwaves. This happens when people take psychedelics or they're meditating. So this actually kind of gets you to this place where you can not only perceive more within yourself, but actually perceive your larger environment. Now I can actually tell you one of the early studies that we did that blew our mind really blew our minds. So we actually took seeds, which are these tiny, tiny particles of light that you wouldn't kind of expect to have any intelligence, you know? And we watered some with regular water and some with an alema water, and we measured biophoton emissions. So the seeds that were watered with regular water, we didn't see anything special. But the seeds that were watered with an alema water, suddenly we started seeing this sinusoidal shape of peaks and valleys of biophoton emissions. And we're wondering what happened? Like, what is this effect, which is very palpable and you can very accurately measure it. We connected to some other scientists because we couldn't explain it. And after a while, we realized that it followed the tides. So this water connected this tiny piece of life to the circadian rhythm of nature. It started to electromagnetically move, so to speak, with nature. Now, isn't that fascinating? So, so aren't we challenged? Mm -hmm. I mean, these days where, where we're developing all of the, you know, the expanding the internet and, and all of these things, we, you know, the communications uh, around the world with uh, satellites and all of these, uh, these things that are actually modifying our electromagnetic fields. Um, I mean, that, that's got to have some adverse impact. And uh, would would there be would this be able to counter? Do you feel this would be able to counter? Exactly that. We actually proved it uh, in more than one way. So uh, but this was really kind of interesting for us. But this is the thing: we're living in age when people are disconnected from themselves, let alone disconnected from other humans or our larger environment. That's why this water is so important because it upgrades your communication system, so to speak. So you're much more aware of what's happening within, but you're actually connected to your larger, relevant, larger environment, natural environment, not what we created, so to speak, in the outside. And we actually did a, a study on EMFs where we actually, uh, we realized in our research that when you take a glass of water and put it next to a Wi-Fi router, H2O molecules go into much deeper chaos. So there is an effect there. And we actually uh, realized that when people use cell, phone, uh, cell phones, just for three minutes, their brain waves actually go 
in very deep chaos. And that's very measurable. And what we did, we actually took uh, several individuals and they were all of them that were using uh, cell phones. We had QEEG on their heads and we then gave NLM water to some and with them uh, to the others, we gave regular water. And those guys that drank regular water after using cell phone, basically nothing happened. Their brainwaves needed over an hour to kind of come back. But with NLM water, exactly the same thing happened like we saw in the twin studies. Just after, uh, after taking a couple of sips. With this study, we proved that when they drank NLM water, there was an, again, instant better connection with the left and right hemisphere of the brain, an instant harmonizing effect on the brainwaves. So those chaotic uh, brainwave patterns almost immediately came to normal. So this is really, really, again, uh, a really, uh, really powerful effect and pretty fast. We're very uh, kind of surprised that something that you can ingest can have such a powerful effect on your brainwaves it's in such a short period of time. So it's almost like there's a there's an enhancement of the corpus callosum. And it, I guess on the, the, the poly EEG, that's a con interconnectivity okay. to the brain. Okay. <laughs> uh, so so it's almost like that that trans those transmissions are enhanced and synchronized almost. Synchronized. This is what I love. Uh, like I believe that naturally we are actually very very much more connected than the, than the world it is today. So this water actually just brings us to this natural state of connection. So it just, I believe it just awakens what is naturally already there. It's just balancing out what is out of whack, so to speak. Well, if you think, and if you think about coherence as it is and the interaction of the molecules being almost uh, developing a database or a computer-like uh, yeah. um, synergy, then all of that, all of that just expands, expands your ability to tap into virtually anything, at least from a normal standpoint. But I do have a question about pathology and you know, being a doctor, please, because I do, I do see, you know, I see a, a number of uh, neurodegenerative diseases and, and those types of things are, are any, uh, do y'all have uh, any information on its results in say Alzheimer's dementia or any other type of dementia or those type of neurodegenerative disorders, any information on outcomes or, or any thoughts about doing clinical trial work with, uh, with a few of those patients as a seeing if it had any effect. We actually did uh, um, a study with one, uh, uh, with, it was just a pilot study. We were advised just to stay within the general health and wellness and not to go into kind of, uh, but we're getting uh, letters for like really a lot of people from all over the planet, they're having various results. But anyhow, in terms of brainwaves, we had one person, as I mentioned, and we did the 60-day trial on, on uh, it was a severe issue with uh, brainwaves. This was a progressive, actually, illness with, with no cure. So would and that within... be qualified as a memory disorder or as a more... No. No, it's not a memory disorder. It's mm -hmm. actually, well, I'm just going to mention, but the, the, I just want to kind of, this is not meant to treat, cure, right. and just exactly. to have a disclaimer exactly. there so that we are 100%. Yeah, so this person had Alzheimer's disease. Mm -hmm. So usually uh, with Alzheimer's, people, people w w when we sleep, our delta brain waves are actually high. But with Alzheimer patients, their delta waves are actually active during the day, which has various big problems for them. Mm. So we put this person on NLM water and within 60 days, all of the symptoms went away. So their brain waves actually, so all of the delta and everything came, came to normal. Came back so, into a... Came, yeah. So this is really extraordinary, uh, extraordinary result that we're really kind of happy. But just as I mentioned, we're staying with the general health and wellness and all of our studies that we're doing are, are done on healthy individuals. We did double blind placebo controlled ATP study with the double blind placebo controlled microbiome study. As I mentioned, this brainwave study also on healthy people with the glycanase study. So there are many studies that we did, but all of them were done on healthy individuals. Right. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So ask. now it, maybe it's a good time to jump in our second study. This is also to, to kind of make a step back early on, uh, as I mentioned, when we had this uh, large greenhouse and we did all kinds of uh, research on plants, we realized that uh, when you grow, uh, we grew tomatoes with the NLM water and uh, tomatoes grew with NLM water, they exude between 60 and 200% more light 
biophotons and then tomatoes that were grown with regular water, which is extraordinary to observe. So we were kind of thinking, what can we measure in humans that would be an equivalent to biophotons? Because it's very hard to measure uh, biophotons in humans at this point with technology that is that exists. So we're thinking there has to be a correlation with uh, mitochondrial energy. So we decided to measure ATP. And then as in triphosphate, which is the primary mm -hmm. energy currency of the cell, our cells is directly responsible for powering the majority of cellular processes in our body, including muscle contraction, nerve impulse transmission, biochemical reactions, every heartbeat, every breath, everything, every cognitive function, everything depends yes. on ATP. So what we did, we did a double blind placebo controlled study where we measured what is going to happen with ATP levels when people drink this water. So we employed luciferase which is an enzyme that catalyzes light production in bio bioluminescent organisms. And due to its extraordinary sensitivity, you can actually very accurately measure ATP levels in humans. So what we did, we took a snapshot of ATP levels, then participants in the study, they drank a liter and a half of an element water per day without changing anything else in the world. So their exercise regime stayed the same, their uh, diet stayed the same, every other element in their life stayed the same. The only thing that changed was uh, the water they drank. And then two months later, we did another snapshot, quote unquote, of ATP levels to see what, what happened there. And we saw a 20% rise in overall mitochondrial energy over the placebo. So when you calculate the placebo, that's one third of an entire energy. We're not talking about Red Bull energy. Uh -uh. We're talking about actual mitochondrial energy. And scientists now kind of agree that one of the key causes of cellular aging is the decline in mitochondrial function. And we proved that there is a more than significant, significant rise in mitochondrial function just by drinking the water. So this was truly, truly an amazing thing. And also one other thing that people aren't uh, kind of clearly or off the bat aware, like what is the biggest spender of ATP in our body? Do you know? Hmm, brain. Well done, doctor. You know your thing. You usually people go for muscles because you know it, uh, if you have high ATP levels, your muscle athletic performance is not going to be much higher. But uh, just for one neuron to send a nerve impulse to a neighboring cell, it needs to hydrolyze one billion ATP molecules, and there are billions of neurons. Twenty-five percent wow. of all of our energy goes just for the brain, and uh, people with high ATP levels have much higher cognitive ability and cognitive performance. So there is a very strong correlation with ATP, basically any, uh, any cellular process uh, in our body. Huh. Excellent. That's, and, and synchronizing all that and making it work together, a phenomenal result. Oh, that's and great. not only that, you know what I love about the whole mitochondrial function? The key that the main job of our mitochondria is to turn sugar and fat, which are primary kind of energy, energy kind of cells into actual energy. So if mitochondria are working, doing their job, they're going to be much more efficient in that process. And as a result, everything works much better. So this is, uh, this is something that was, that was truly, uh, truly extraordinary uh, kind of uh, um, uh, to witness. The second or the third uh, study that we did uh, was actually a microbiome study. Uh, we, we very much understood that that while the water is the most fundamental level of uh, our, our existence, that microbiome is quite up there. We like to think of ourselves as single species, but mm -hmm. nothing could be further from the truth. We're actually living in symbiosis with trillions, trillions of microorganisms. I don't know if you're aware, but there are three, up to 300 times more microbial genes than human genes in our body. Aware. Yeah. Wow. So it's, it's extraordinary uh, when you look at it. I mean, the effect of the science in the last couple of decades has connected the, the state of our microbiome to basically any area of human health. Uh, nowadays, people are talking about serotonin and, and you know, how uh, uh, neurotransmitters and how they affect the mood. But what mm -hmm. most people aren't aware that 95% of serotonin is actually being created in the gut by our wow. microbiome and then is being delivered through the gut-brain axis to our brains. So the state of your microbiome very, very dramatically influences how you perceive the world, how you feel, how you, your mood. 
So it's not about digestion system. or immunity. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyhow, we did a double blind placebo control study where we measured what is called the dysbiosis index of the microbiome. So this biosis index measures the degree of deviation within the microbiome, taking into account all the different bacteria, phyla, and species and their weighing factor. I am I'm such a geek on the microbiome because there are such extraordinary connections uh, uh, between state of our microbiome and basically any area of, your, of our health. So it's not just like people always go for gut health. When we're talking about neurological health, we're talking about cardiovascular health, we're talking about mental health, emotional health, everything is connected to the state of our microbiome. So this equilibrium, all, all of these microorganisms and our human body is essential for our health. If, if that is in any way disturbed, any area of our health is going to suffer. So what we did, we did a double blind placebo control study where we measured what is called the dysbiosis index of the microbiome. So dysbiosis index measures the degree of deviation within the microbiome, taking into account all the different bacterial phyla and species and their uh, weighing factor. So uh, what we did is the same thing. So people in the study, actually, we took a snapshot of their uh, microbiome. Then they drank a liter and a half of an lemon water per uh, day for uh, two months without changing anything else in the world. So they didn't change their diets, exercise room, everything else stayed the same. Then again, we took another snapshot to see uh, what actually happened there. And we had 17% rise on the dysbiosis index over the placebo. But more importantly, what we saw is that the positive bacteria went up and the bad bacteria went down. So there is this equilibrium which happened. Again, this water has extraordinary harmonizing effect on every living thing. So this was another groundbreaking study. And what we are doing now, we were very encouraged with this study, that we're doing the whole mapping, DNA sequencing of an entire microbiome. Because the science has now pinpointed the exact pathway by which every single species of bacteria has an effect on any area of health. So in this way, we're really mapping the whole thing so we can see all of those nuances and uh, effects on human health. And I have to say one other thing, since this water has extraordinary effects on plants, just to, to mention one thing which is extraordinary. What we did, we actually uh, took a completely destroyed piece of soil, destroyed by glyphosate and all of the chemicals that a, a large agriculture company use. So basically, this was completely barren piece of soil. You couldn't grow anything on it. It was just dead. So one part of it we watered with regular water, and one part we watered with an element water, and we actually did study to see what happens in the soil. The part that was watered with regular water, basically nothing happened. It stayed dead. But the part that was watered with uh, uh, with NLMO water, there was a huge explosion in biodiversity of the microbiome. So much so that the bacteria in soil, new bacteria that started growing exponentially, started to suck CO2 out of the atmosphere into the soil where it actually belongs. Because plants need CO2 to live. So, and there is other extraordinary effect that actually happened. The total nitrogen cycle improved dramatically and total nitrogen in soil increased dramatically. So within only two months, this dead piece of soil became fertile again. Wow. So grow food on it. And there is another extraordinary effect uh, <laughs> that happened is that usually when the rain falls, all of the nutrients and minerals go to the deeper layer of the soil. But with Enalema water, there is a huge retainment of those minerals and nutrients in the top layer of the soil where plant can use it. So when you grow plant on that soil, all of those minerals and nutrients actually end up in the produce. And when people eat it, they have the full spectrum benefit because it's interesting, spinach 15 years ago had 80% more nutrients than spinach today. So you have to eat much, much, much more spinach today to get the same benefit like you would have 15 years ago. So our whole thing was is also to change the, the way we grow food on the planet. And this water can help tremendously. We, we, we actually did 
many blind studies as well. Some of them are going to be published in Tirnwar scientific magazines because to really witness what happens with plants when you water uh, uh, them with, with this water is really something to observe. It's very interesting. I, I wonder if, you know, ideally, eventually you'd get it into like the community water system. You touched upon something which is definitely our goal. Mm. Because, you know, usually water... Uh, needs to move in a natural way to keep its vitality. But since this water is extraordinarily resilient, if you put it through a piping system of the city, it will survive and not only survive, it will reach your faucet when you open your faucet. It will come in that particular coherent state. So this is definitely something that we want to do. That's why we're investing so much into hardcore science so that uh, it becomes irrefutable. And everybody will, but this is what we want. We want uh, uh, so that every single person can drink this water and get the benefit because this is the water we intend to actually consume as people. So how how does it work exactly? I mean, what uh, for an individual consumer who wanted to start participating, what is the product? How does the product work? This is an interesting question. We haven't touched it in early on. We went in a completely different direction, right. but you know, it is what it is. So uh, as I mentioned, so uh, when we realized that water is always going to pick up the most dominant frequency of its environment, we were kind of, our whole quest was to create the most dominant positive frequency water there is. Because we knew if we would expose any other water to it, all of the water will become exactly like it so when we created what we call now the mother water what we did we put it in a crystal vial so crystal has at least crystal vial has two purposes one of course is to create the barrier between the mother water and the rest of the water that you're swirling analemma through but more importantly the crystal serves as a superconductor so it allows the frequency of mother water to be transmitted without any loss we were actually trying experimenting with the glass, but glass is nowhere near. Uh, 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 it doesn't have the, the, the superconductor capacity of a crystal. So when you take the analemma, which is this crystal vial filled with mother water, and you swirl it through your regular glass of water, what happens is that all of those chaotic, which we mentioned, H2O molecules, when they come into close proximity to the mother water, they, they start to mimic its exact structure. So they, those same chaotic molecules, they start to link together and behaving harmonically. Through this process, water becomes alive. It actually comes back to its natural state, to its powerful state. And when you consume that water, since this is also very interesting, 99% of our molecules are water. And water is always going to pick up the most dominant frequency of its environment. So when you consume the mother water, your entire body enters into this very particular vibratory state. That's why we see immediate uh, results which are very measurable in brain waves. But when you change the water, entire biology follows. That's why we mentioned ATP levels go up, microbiome changes, and we uh, did a glycanate study where we proved in the glycanate study that, uh, uh, that uh, biological age of every single individual uh, went between one and 12 years, there was a, a biological age regeneration. What? Yes, within only three months. What? I was yes. going to ask that question, actually. So uh, we did a, this glycanase study, which I really love. Uh, so it's not, there are many uh, bi biological age tests now, but what I love about them, these guys are actually uh, uh, leaders in glycoscience. They have over 120 published scientific works. So they really know uh, what they're talking about and they made a connection between the state of our um, the, uh, state of glycans to basically any area of, of human health uh, but there are these two elements which are really important through the state of glycans you can very accurately see the state of your immune system that's number one and number two uh, you have this anti-inflammatory and pro-inflammatory glycans and through the balance of those you can see what's the low-grade systemic inflammation level in your body and everybody now knows, knows that low-grade inflammation, if you have it for chronically for a long time, that's a key cause of, of some of the 
top diseases we're having uh, uh, today in the world. So we did a study to see where the glycans would change. And they told us that there is a bare minimum of three months uh, uh, that you need uh, the glycans to change. So that was the length of the study. So people will drink a liter and a half of water, uh, uh, um, and a lemon water per day. And then we did a first test and the second test. And there was between one and 12 years of biological age regeneration in, in almost every single individual. Wow. We have that to our results. We get 25 and years. Everybody would be, everybody in our, would be teenagers. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? I truly believe, I'm going to tell you something. I truly believe this science is now getting to a point where we are going to find those pathways. We are going to find those signals that are going to regenerate our body from within. Our bodies are infinite. Our bodies are extraordinarily powerful. I love this story. Uh, uh, you, doctor, are going to definitely uh, know this. I, I just love this study. It was a placebo study that where they uh, convinced an individual that, um, that uh, there is this new pain uh, killer, which is kind of off the charts. And you have to try it. And and they gave him a Tic Tac or something. <laughs> uh, and uh, 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 that individual's body created a substance which is 40,000 times stronger than heroin. Wow. It does not exist in nature. So our bodies are extraordinary. It's just a matter of finding what triggers it. If we And we, I believe, within, within the next decade, we're going to find those triggers. And then we, I believe that we're going to, um, our life uh, is going to change like dramatically on the, and the lifespan is going to change dramatically. So I believe if we stay alive for the next 10 years, we're going to see many, many years on the planet. Awesome. That's cool. That is neat. Okay, neat. So, so a person would get the vial and yeah, it's a, it's a put product, it in whatever basically. they're drinking. Yeah, yeah. So what you do actually, uh, uh, we actually created a whole house system. We're coming out with many applications, but this is the first one, the wand that uh, uh, anybody can purchase it. You just take a glass of water. I usually just go for larger quantities for like two liter uh, a pitcher and I make the water coherent and then I drink it through the day. How do you know so when it's reached coherence? Like how That's a brilliant question. So uh, uh, for, let's say for one cup size, that's like uh, let's say 20 to 25 seconds and you can oh, wow. extrapolate for that. So it's not too long, but we always say kind of do the thing, make the water coherent so that you're 100% that all of the water entered into that particular state and then you drink it. And then how long does that uh, wand last? This is a very interesting question and thank you for asking. Actually, forever. What we did oh. is that uh, uh, I'm just going to stick to science. What we did, we we actually, uh, uh, for six consecutive years now, after just one treatment of the water, just one swirling, for six consecutive years, we we're measuring it, and it never actually went out of the state of coherence. There are some scientists that actually created some form of coherence through vortexing of the water, through magnets, through crystals, and it does the job somewhat, so the water changes its state. But the key element, the water goes back to chaos, anywhere between a couple of minutes and day and a half. Mm. But with yeah. NLM water, it actually stays in this state forever. It just doesn't go out. The, we actually did all kinds of things to it to, to see whether the bonds will break. And they don't. That's why it's so special. That's why I'm saying that we feel that we are serving this water. It, it's just, it, it's an amazing thing. So we just want to kind of get it to as much people as possible. And not only that, to invest in all of these studies. So the people will know that when they're using it, they are getting the benefit. And then that you said you have a household system. So how does that yeah. work? It's really, uh, th this is something really kind of interesting. We were always kind of hypothesizing since 99% of our molecules of water, what would happen if we would lay down in an LMO water for half an hour, just taking a bath? Mm. So uh, we actually connected to Dr. Greg Lane, Hydrate Spy in San Diego and uh, David Perez, my good friend since they have already uh, equipment that can measure various vitals before and after. We now have 100 people study. So people just come in, they do all of the, their vitals. We are actually measuring cardiac output, stroke volume, blood viscosity, and heart rate variability. And then people lay down in, um, in the animal water for 30 minutes. 
And then again, we do the same vitals to see what's going to happen. And we were actually doing a, a long-term study as well. But anyhow, every single person in the study, every single person in the study experienced sometimes very dramatic uh, positive uh, changes in their uh, cardiac output, stroke volume, blood viscosity, and more importantly, heart rate variability. Because now everybody knows that heart rate variability is very, very accurate marker mm -hmm. over overall health. And the minimum rise in, in heart rate variability that we saw in all of the studies is at least 30%. And sometimes it, go, it goes to 100. So uh, it really has an interesting biological effect, this water. <laughs> That's really cool. So the household system, do you connect it to your water? Yeah, you just put it, yeah, you just uh, put it to a piping uh, system of your house. So anywhere you open the faucet then in your home, oh. you get coherent water. So Good it's water. simple in this way because then you just, uh, when you, you can fill your bathtub very fast. But I always say to people, if they cannot afford the whole house system, which is a bit pricier than regular in Alema, even though we really try to keep the cost as low as possible so that any person can actually afford it. And just like mm -hmm. I mentioned, if you take if you take care of it, if you treat it like a jewel, it will last you a lifetime. So when you look at it, it's actually very cheap. <laughs> but anyhow, I always say, say to people, right. if you cannot afford the whole house in Alema, you can just take the wand and put it underneath the flowing water. You have to stay there until the bathtub is full, but you're actually going to have the same effect, just like you're using whole house and lemon. But if you can afford the whole house and lemon, then you have to think about it. You just put it in. Wherever you open your faucet, you are going to get coherent water. Okay. Do, Amazing. Do you, need, do you need it for each faucet or no? No. No. That's whole house. No, 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 no. No, no. This okay. is the thing with the piping system of your house. So uh, uh, when the pipes enter your house, you install it there. And then oh, okay. it's, so you don't have to think about it. You don't have to do anything. We're actually going to be coming out with Brita-like system that is going to uh, uh, filter the water and make it coherent. We're coming out with Berkey-like system as well, mm -hmm. and we're going. We are now doing uh, also working on a flagship model that is going to have a five-stage water purification, and it's going to make it coherent. We basically offer uh, everything to people. So wherever they are, they can get the benefit. They can use the technology and get the most natural and most powerful water there is. This is what we want. And not only that, I'm going to expand on our mission statement. We want to make all the bodies of water on this planet coherent. We created already this eco-friendly technology that we want to install in the in the wells of the biggest rivers because we know that everything down the stream would change. All of the natural life, everything would change. And those that water is going to end up in the ocean. And then we're going to have coherent oceans. And when that happens in, in some time, of course, it will take some time, then we're going to have coherent planet. And that would have, from electromagnetic and any other point of view, Huge. a profound effect on what's going on on this planet. I know it's a tall order, but this is what we are um, dedicated to. This is what we are focused on. That's why we're doing these studies and we're constantly expanding on them so that in a very short period of time, the whole science becomes irrefutable and we can bring it to the governmental level. And then everybody will use it naturally. They wouldn't have to just open the faucet and that's the only water you're going to get. That's the goal. Yeah, that's a great goal. Awesome. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to see the evolution of... of you know, how that, how that, I'll be watching you, see how that goes. <laughs> we are very, very, very dedicated to this. That's why I'm thanking you so much for giving me the opportunity to tell this story. I just want to tell it to as much people as possible, because then people can really get acquainted with the whole thing and they can get the benefit. That's what it's all about. And I'm telling you, every single person that start drinking the water, that gets connected within themselves. We mentioned this whole uh, seed study you get connected electromagnetically to a larger natural environment. So you're moving with nature. You're not separated from yourself and from the nature itself. We need to come back to what's natural. That's yeah. why we're yeah. also investing so much in agriculture because the studies that we're doing, we haven't even, that's a whole nother, it's extraordinary. The quality of food that comes out of this water. I mean, you don't want to eat anything else. Really? We have... 
vitality, a shelf life. I mean, usually kind of people go in, in the whole business shelf life. If the vitality of the plant is, you can kind of have a tomato that was grown with an LMO water and regular water and the regular tomato is going to rotten. And this one holds the energy. Wow. It has vitality that lasts much longer. And that's more than visible. And when you eat that tomato, all that energy again ends up in your cells. That's really cool. You're making this me is hungry. What we're dedicated. This is uh, where we're going, and and hopefully, uh, very soon everybody will recognize it, and it will become something which is normal and available everywhere. This is our goal. That's great. Well, where can well before I ask that, what's one thing that you want the listeners to know? Well, we spoke about water, so. There are several things which I believe are the pillars of good health. And your, and the name of your beautiful podcast is Your Infinite Health. So besides water that we touched upon, which I truly believe is the most fundamental level of our existence. And when you change that, everything else will follow. But I would definitely encourage people to start breathing and meditating more. Mm. Because when you do conscious breathing... And when you connect yourself, and water helps there, when you connect yourself in a deeper way, you're going to be able to perceive life in much more powerful way. And when you, you are going to perceive what is already there, since we're constantly obsessing with things in our minds, this is not real. This is not reality. When you stop and when you breathe and when you get connected with yourself within, you realize that we are already living on an extraordinary planet, that everything is already amazing, but we're just passing next to it without perceiving it. Mm -hmm. Meditation increases the quality of your perception. And then people are going to start to realize how actually lucky we are. And then we're going to start to get grateful for all of that. And then lives change dramatically. So if I'm going to mention one thing aside from water, I would mention this. It really is a life-changing thing when you start doing it. That's awesome. Well, you have such a calming presence. So I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for the opportunity again. I really, I really appreciate it. Yeah, no, so do we. Um, and before I let you go, can you tell the listeners where they can find out more about you and Emily Water? So uh, anybody can go to coherent-water.com. That's coherent-water.com. And I encourage people, they can, of course, uh, they can buy any of our applications, whatever they want. And I also encourage them to jump on a newsletter since we're constantly doing new science. If you want to follow what we do and all of our studies and all the beauties that this water does, because we haven't mentioned animals. We haven't mentioned many things in our talk, but if you want to follow all of this, Jump on a newsletter and uh, you're going to get uh, all of the information, what we are all about, what we are doing basically on a daily basis. Awesome. I'm going to sign up when we get off here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mario, thanks so much. This has been thank you. wonderful. All right. All right, listener, I hope you found this educational and informational and somewhat entertaining. And until next time. Thanks for subscribing to Your Infinite Health. I'm Dr. Tripp. And I'm Lynne. Until next time. Feel it, look it, and live it.